more sustainable, more high performance, buildings are more enjoyable and therefore have more quality to them. Uh, because if they're uh, you know, less expensive to operate and maintain and they're more enjoyable, you have a better asset. So I need to work with partners that understand those goals because I am involved in uh, kind of tracking what's new and exciting in the field of uh, indoor air quality and you know, HVAC, uh, heating, ventilating, air conditioning, that I will come across concepts that I've heard about. And so I you know, float them up in the air to uh, 2D, see how they can react to them. And, and quite often they react to them very well. They react to them with uh, positive energy and creativity to uh, make it happen. Well, Net Zero is a uh, building that produces uh, on an annual basis uh, as much or more energy than it uses. What we knew we had to do was uh, uh, our part, which was building a very energy efficient thermal envelope. That's the building skin and windows. And then uh, we looked at 2D to come up with the most efficient HVAC system, which in that case was a uh, geothermal system. The geothermal system, uh, the correct name for it is ground coupled water source heat pump. And basically, uh, it takes the energy from the earth and puts it into the home or to the building. And it does that uh, with a series of uh, wells. These wells are typically about 450 feet deep and uh, water is not extracted from the well, but basically you drill a hole uh, and put a pipe into that hole uh, that within that pipe uh, carries the water. That transfers the energy from the earth into that water, then that water is taken into the building. So basically, if you think about it, in the dead of winter when it's maybe 10 degrees outside, you're bringing 59 or 60 degree water into the building there's a lot of energy in 60 degree water that you can uh, boost up to uh, say 90 degrees or even 100 degrees to warm your uh, building. 2D coordinated the, uh, the entire system in terms of uh, you know, so not only that system of the geothermal uh, supervising that uh, drilling contractor and piping and testing but also then uh, integrating that with the interior uh, building system. Well, South Hills Retirement Residence was a pretty large project, about 165,000 square feet of uh, substantial renovation. Uh, had a pretty complex uh, heating and cooling system. Uh, the challenge there was that you had a building that in a sense was three times the cubic volume of what you would build with new construction. So you had to have an HVAC system that helped reduce that uh, deficit. And uh, so we did that with a high quality water source heat pump system, but to that we added what's called a cogeneration system, which we uh, obtained a grant from the uh, Pennsylvania Department of uh, Environmental Protection. We are generating uh, about a third to uh, sometimes a half of the energy uh, needed uh, for the building. And at the same time, when we're generating that electrical energy, we're taking the waste heat and we're heating the hot water uh, for the building to heat the building or provide domestic hot water. So we're all of a sudden boosting our energy efficiency up to 85 or 90 percent. We're reducing our carbon footprint uh, by over threefold over the electricity that comes from the utility company. We added uh, 27,000 watts of solar, which uh, that's why it's a hybrid system because on a sunny day like this, um, we're you know, providing a lot of that uh, kind of energy while our hot water demand is, is down low because we're not heating the building. We tried something new here which is called radiant cooling. Uh, radiant heating has been done quite a bit in the Pittsburgh area but no one has ever done radiant cooling. Moving water through pipes is 10 times more efficient than moving air through ducts. So uh, our geothermal well field is just taking the cool water that comes out of the earth, mis mixing it uh, and putting it through the uh, pipes that uh, are in the concrete here and we're cooling that floor slab to about 70 degrees which gives us a nice indoor temperature about 74 degrees. So it's uh, the 
least expensive way, the least uh, and the most energy efficient way you can cool a building is for radiant cooling. Because this building uses about, will use about 25% of the energy of a, a very uh, typical high performance office building. So, you know, we've really driven down the energy cost here quite a bit. Again, you need someone that has the uh, technical expertise that can feed back to the goals of the uh, owner and the architect and the engineers that you're working with. You're looking for their engineering expertise. You're looking for someone that's uh, uh, cost effective because we're always working against tight budgets on these projects. And uh, you're working with someone that uh, you know, can do it uh, quickly, uh, very responsibly. Bob Tootie uh, has a passion for uh, hiring good quality people and compensating them well. He, uh, and that shows, I think, in the organization from all levels, from engineering uh, through the supervision to the uh, field workers. Very professional, the quality of work's professional. They have uh, very few callbacks. And if there are some uh, uh, maintenance issues that need to be addressed, they're handled very quickly.